I believe that light and access to light is a right. To develop the planet, we consume more. And by consuming more, we have to make sure that we consume better. So the name of the game is not about creating more capacity to generate electricity. It's to try to save more energy. There's a total change of relationship. And we are blessed because in our business, in the lighting business, we can strongly contribute to make that equation viable. I think I'm first totally pragmatic. I look at a situation the way it is. Let's not uh, complain about what we don't have anymore, but let's try to make the best of what we have today. 1.2, 1.3 billion people do not have access to electricity, thus do not have access to electrical light. These people should have access to decent light through uh, LED lantern and technologies that already are existing today and that are also more affordable from a financial perspective. The equation that has been you know, a winning one over past decades where basically you were developing businesses while at the same time increasing tremendously your consumption of energy is a model that will not work in the future. No other industry better than lighting can save energy. Can you imagine that we can go up to save 80% of the electrical consumption related to lighting with our new uh, technologies. We count 300 million light poles on our planet. 10% of them are digital light and only 2% of them are connected. So that gives an understanding of the fabulous potential that we have moving forward when all those light poles are going to be not only using digital light but also be connected. So that transition has to happen uh, in a way which is satisfying all the different actors. So there are probably a lot of different uh, entities that uh, may not have a lot of interest moving very fast to clean energy because they have invested in non-clean energy and they need to make sure that that investment has a proper return. The technology is available and the technology can allow us to do today two times more than the objectives that the world has set uh, in terms of energy efficiency improvement. So we need to make sure that, and that's what we try and do uh, at, the, at our humble level, to make sure that all the different stakeholders are more ambitious. And because if we don't double that rate, we will still be consuming more than what we save. The main issue is to get the ecosystem around a proposal and a project to understand this new way of approaching the business, you know, when we talk about circular economy. But what I can tell you is when we have very, very passionate customers about circular economy, together with them, as we are as passionate as they are, we find the right way and to make the business work. I believe in people who have a passion for something and at their level move things in a direction which will make the world better and will improve the lives of all of us. And there are many of them operating in all the countries, operating in different types of environments that have a passion to make things happen and these people are moving the needle.